this is a challenge that I put out to you. To start auditing your day. Choose a day and say, okay, every 30 minutes, I'm gonna set a timer on my phone, and every 30 minutes, I'm just gonna kinda of jot down, whether it's in the notes on your iPhone or whether you actually jot it down on a piece of paper, but every 30 minutes, set an alarm to remind yourself to jot down, what did I do over the last half hour? What did I get done over the last half hour? I think you'll be shocked at just the sheer time wasted throughout a day. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow! Flying solo, a uh, lone wolf today on the Sales Wolves podcast. This is episode 102, and this can be a quick one. Uh, but I believe it'll be an important one because we're going to be talking specifically as to why you suck at selling. Why do you suck at sailing? Here are the three reasons why I think people suck at sailing, <laughs> sailing, sailing, at selling, but we're actually going to give you some tips on how you can improve upon those three reasons why you may or may not suck at selling. The first one is you think the basics are for beginners could not be further from the truth. But you look at, hey, the basics is what I did to get here, but now that I'm here at this level, now that I've had some success, now I have to find new ways of doing things. Now I have to find more advanced ways of doing things. When the reality is that the basics are what got you there, the basics are what are ultimately going to keep you there and move you forward. It's the continually building upon the basics and it's proving out that you can do those basics day in, day out, that are ultimately gonna get you to where you wanna be. The basics must be mastered, right? The basics must be mastered in order to continue to keep your pipeline full in the sales process, in order to continue to keep prospects in your, uh, in your sales funnel. That's it all is done through the basics. And if you think about the basics of a sport, it's dribbling, it's you know, layups, it's free throws, but the greatest NBA players of all time have mastered those basics and they practice those basics every single day. Their pregame routine, they're practicing those basics, practicing and mastering those basics so they can do all the other fun advanced level things, but those all build upon the daily routine of mastering uh, the basics. The second is you spend 90% of your time on things that just don't matter. Second reason why you may or may not suck at selling is you're spending 90% of your time on stuff that has nothing to do with sales. So this is a challenge that I put out to you. To start auditing your day. Choose a day and say, okay, every 30 minutes, I'm gonna set a timer on my phone. And every 30 minutes, I'm just gonna kind of jot down whether it's in the notes on your iPhone or whether you actually jot it down on a piece of paper. But every 30 minutes, set an alarm to remind yourself to jot down, what did I do over the last half hour? What did I get done over the last half hour? I think you'll be shocked at just the sheer time wasted throughout a day. Um, you think about uh, distractions, salespeople sometimes, they, they love those distractions because it's kind of like escapism, right? It gives you that little window to kind of escape reality that you get to get, gotta get back to these phone calls. And sometimes those distractions can come as a form of work that needs to get done right now, like paperwork, administrative work that you have to get on right this second, when in the reality you need to be doing revenue generating activities that are actually producing current and future sales. The majority of your administrative and, and, and just busy work can be done after hours, can be done at night, can be done on the weekends so that you can save your prime time when you can actually get a hold of people and actually convert sales, actually set appointments. That time has to be spent doing those revenue producing activities. I promise you there is no nobility in just being busy. You meet these people all the time, and I'm so busy, oh, you have no idea, I got so much going on, but you don't ever feel like they're actually getting anything done. There's a big difference between being busy and being productive. So figure out what those time wasters are for you. Is it scrolling through uh, social media? Is it the time that you're spending at lunch that always kind of carries over into your afternoon? What are those things that you're doing throughout the day that are getting you off track? And start eliminating those things uh, from your day. 
and try auditing because I think that there's some of those distractions that you're just not even aware of that are creeping into your daily life uh, that unless you take the time to physically write down what did I do over the last 30 minutes throughout your day, um, you may not even be aware of them. Uh, so that's a super important key there. The third reason you may or may not suck at selling is because you refuse to ask for help. Some of you don't want to ask for help because you feel like it's a sign of weakness. You feel like, you know, I don't want, you know, my boss, I don't want my supervisor, I don't want my sales manager, I don't want my uh, coworker to know that I'm struggling in this area, so I'm just going to kind of keep this under the rug. It may be the very thing that's keeping you from reaching your next level is not asking for help in the first place. I can tell you this, you cannot do life alone, and if you could have figured this situation out on your own, you already would have. So there is nothing that is gonna hurt you by asking somebody else for help. The only thing it may hurt is your ego. And that's the one thing that you need to get rid of in the beginning to move yourself on uh, to the type of person that can achieve higher levels of success. So you, start, you have to start asking uh, for help. Think about this line right here, and this is something my business partner, Joseph Caldwell, he's usually on the podcast with me, but this is something that he used to tell me all the time. And we would recite, I'd rather be rich than right. 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 So when it comes to asking for help, when it comes to asking for someone's input on how they do certain things, think that I'd rather be rich than right. Like I don't have to be right in this scenario. I'd rather be rich than just be right. So you have to be willing to seek out those people in your industry, seek out those people even within your company that are doing certain parts of the sales process better than you. Seek them out and ask for their help. You will rarely find a salesperson that would just say no. Typically people that are excelling, typically people that are doing well in life are not only willing, but they're happy to provide advice, happy to help anyone else that's, that's trying to uh, better themselves. They know what it felt like because they were once there. They were once the person that asked for help. I promise you they are the, once the person that asked for help if they're now the person being asked. It's just the way the world works. And they were rewarded for those efforts and they made progress over time and they got to the place where they are now. And so now they're always willing to pay that forward uh, and to help you and they will warrant that conversation. So do not be afraid to ask for help. Back to the first one, you think the basics are for beginners when the basics are for masters. Number two, you spend 90% of your day on things that just don't matter. So eliminate those time wasters, find those time wasters, and then eliminate them. And then lastly, don't refuse to ask for help. Don't stay stuck. Get somebody to help you out of the rut that you may or may not be in. Those are the three things that I have seen that are holding people back in sales. And if you can take these three keys and unlock your future potential in sales, the world is your oyster. With that, guys, this is the Sales Wolves Podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Harris, and we'll see you next time. Ow!